So let's say I cannot find this symptom face which is which is on one sided very hot and warm. So on the keyboard I can just start to press the question mark or the function key F4. You can find this here at the top also with the main find button and a sub button. So on the keyboard let's start to type the function key F4 or just type question mark. So I do question mark and let's say okay face and it's the one side of the face. So one enter side enter. So I have face one side. Let's search all symptoms in the repertory of face one side. Now here at the top you see search in the current document only. It means when I start my search, it searches only in the, in the current document and that's the synthesis. But you can also click here to change. So I can select here for example all documents or all repertories. But let's keep for now the current document only and it starts my search or I could have pressed on the keyboard the enter key or in the left upper corner click here to start the search. So now I have an overview of all symptoms in the repertory. It has found 47 symptoms and I go over it and I see here for example face discoloration. Okay, it's under discoloration. Red, one side and I see here a rubric which might be more accurate. There's also the other side is pale. Let's say that is the situation of my patient. Now I can take this symptom from here already with drag and drop. Yeah. Or I can just double click on that symptom to go to the repertory. Or I can also take with the other methods, which is on the keyboard, the equal sign or plus one, plus two, plus three. So I double click here now and I go to the repertory to that symptom. Okay, let's take that one and take it with drag and drop. So I just point to the text of the symptom. I drag it here to clip up number one and let go. Okay, so again, I repeat, you can take a symptom with drag and drop. You can use here the local take button or on the keyboard, there are several hotkeys. The equal sign or you can use the plus one, plus two, plus three, etc. Okay, let's do now the analysis. I can click here at the top on the main button of the analysis, or I could also have clicked here at the left on symptom clipboard number one. So this is my analysis. Here are my symptoms. Uh, here are the remedies. Now this is the score. So the score is uh, uh, number one, two, three, these three remedies, they have all three uh, here, the sum of symptoms, a three, so they are all three, all three of these remedies have three symptoms. So Chamomilla, Pulsatilla and Nuxformica all have three symptoms. And this is the sum of degrees. So two plus one plus three is a six. This also, 2, 2, 2 is a 6, and this, a 1, a 2, and a 2 is a 5. Now, when remedies have the same score, like these three at the top, they are placed alphabetically. So, let's say I want to differentiate these remedies. So, I want to read something about them. Now, just double-click on a remedy. So, I double-click here on Gamma and it will open the remedy information window. Now there's a lot of information uh, here available and I will just mention here this button is the keynotes, some keynote information. This is the family information so let's click here on kingdoms and you see exactly to which classification it belongs. So for example here the APG2 system you see here for example the Asteraceae and these are all other members. Now these two are more the older classification systems. Now if I click here on Conquest and I click here on Compositae, you see here all the Compositae 
and these are the main remedies. Okay, here's passport information from Frans Vermeulen. There is uh, multimedia information, Wikipedia, uh, Google search, Google images, provings.com, etc. Here are some plant classification uh, websites from Grin, etc. Okay, so I want to search for this remedy now in my whole homeopathic library. So I select here search for this remedy in and I select all documents. So I single click on it and it does now a search through my whole radar opus homeopathic library through all repertories and all materia medicas, all concepts, all journals, all therapeutics, etc. Now this is my search result. Here at the left you see here the documents where it has found uh, what I searched for and how, how often it is found in that document. If I scroll down, the first were here the repertories, then I see some concepts, families of remedies, materia medica, and there are keynotes, comparative materia medica, and therapeutics books. Okay, so if I just want to read something about the remedy, I just single click on it. Let's say here I want, uh, let's see, uh, on the Burke, just I single click here on Burke, and at the right side it shows what it has found in the Burke. And if I now just double click on it, I go to that document. So here at the, at the top, in the top, it really opened the pocket manual of Burke. Okay, I go back to my search window and I say, let's search for chamomilla, but in com combination with the word otitis or otitis media. Just let's try. So I start to type otitis and I press enter and enter again and it does my search again. So now it's the combination of the remedy chamomilla and the word otitis. And these are all documents where it has found this combination. And for example, I see here Roger Morrison, desktop companion. There is something about this remedy. Acute otitis or chronic, especially in infants and toddlers. Let me just double click here on it. And I'm here in the desktop companion about camomilla in relation with otitis. Now, if I want to keep this as a kind of a reference for later on, I can just drag and drop this section to my clipboard. But, of course, I can drag it to the same clipboard, but I can also drag it in a different clipboard. And I usually, myself, keep the last clipboard as a kind of reference clipboard. So, information which I don't want to use in the real analysis, but which I want to uh, keep in mind. So I just point here to it and I drag it to a clipboard and let go. Now the advantage of this is when I recall this case I can just double click on that symptom and automatically it will open this book and jump to this location. This is absolutely a unique feature of Radio Opus. Okay, so let's go back to the analysis window. I single click here on my clipboard. This is my analysis. So let's finish by saving this analysis. So here are the clipboards and with the right mouse click I click on one of the clipboards and then I select here save analysis. Now I come to this window and at first it might look a bit confusing but there are in fact there are only a few options. Number one and two have to do with the patient file. Save the current analysis to an existing patient. Save the current analysis to a new patient. This one is to save it to a folder. It's just separate so it's that you save it outside of the patient file. And that is to be compared with the old radar. Right mouse click and then you select save case recall case. So let's do here the second one, save analysis to a new patient. So I single click on it 
and I have to give the first name, last name, and the sex, and if I want, also the birth date. So, for example, I type here Evelyn and press on the top, and I say Marsh, and okay, female. I can type here some text also if I want. For example, I say a cute consult. Now, if I press here save, what it will do, it will create a patient file for Evelyn Marsh and immediately it will add a consultation. So at the lower end, I click here now on save or just press on the keyboard enter. Okay, so let's say a new patient comes. I want to clear these clipboards. I just right mouse click and I say clear all clipboards. Okay, so that was it. Now here's my table of contents of repertories. This is my table of contents of references. And this is my table of contents of patients. So let's say I want to recall that patient now, Evelyn Mars. I just click here on the main button and I start to type Evelyn. And there she is. I single click on it and it opens my patient file. Now when it opens the patient file and there's already an analysis saved, it will ask you if you want to recall that analysis. So let's say here, no. And you see here, I have a special tab, the tab of Evelyn Marsh, and this is the consultation text. Now if I open here the information, you see that uh, this here is the date and the time when it was saved. Now this is the consultation window. This is to create a new consultation. This is the list of consultations and this is the list of saved analysis. If I want to recall this analysis again, I just here double click on it and it recalls my analysis. So I think this was it as a quick tour of the whole program.